Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you. Look what I just picked up at the dump. Look at this. Look at cobwebs on it. There's a generator that we're going to throw away because it is seized up. Pull it over. It is locked right up. Um, I don't think it has oil in it. Oh, yep, it does have oil on it. Okay. So I'm wondering if they broke a rod in it and jammed up that way. We don't know, but we're going to find out. I just want to take a quick peek at it, you know. It's like a first look. Oh, the whole engine seized up. Could be from sitting. Who knows? Oh, wait, there we go. No, I just turned it over. I put... I... All right, we'll check this out again. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing to move. Put this up in here. It's been sitting for a very long time. That's what I was told. I could turn the engine over by hand like this. I don't recommend doing this because you can break... If the engine is oil seized, it'll do that. But I'm going very light pressure. If you can turn them over lightly, then it's okay but if you have to put a lot of pressure on them i don't recommend this because you'll break off the cooling fins and that's not a good thing and we don't want to be doing that so i just want to see if i can get this thing to pull over oh, almost it turned it turned a little bit yeah so let's wind it back up right all right i'm gonna mess with this for a couple minutes and i'll be right back all right, on, choke, fuel is on, it's probably not going to start because it's got, uh, well, the old fuel that's in the tank, but I guess you get to turn over. Wow, thing is crazy hard to pull. All right, so this is this episode is going to be how to wreak havoc on a um, an engine that's been sitting for a very long time. Oh yeah, yeah, that ain't going to happen. All right, so we zapped off the air cleaner. Just give it a bit of a boost of that. Let's see if we can pull this thing over. Let's see if it'll catch. out of fuel. Nothing wrong with that. There's no fuel in the tank. The tank is out. It was very little in that little pocket right there. You can see it is very it's out of fuel. But this bad boy runs. Bet you it pulls over a lot easier now. Oh yeah. Put the pressure on this thing too. Wow. Man. It's got excellent compression. So anyway, this is a first look of a storm responder. 
6500 watts, 8250 starting surge watts. It's got a little LED. I had this machine before, not this one, but the same one. Um, and right up in here, there's an LED that blinks, that blinks, um, that shines on the um, all the power plugs. So I mean, this thing is complete. This thing looked like it was in good shape. It was full in oil, so I figured it wasn't seized up from anything other than really sitting. Um, and what I do is. One part I left out in the beginning of this thing. I look at the block. Look in these areas right here and see if you see any cracking. If you see any cracking on either side, this side or the other side, okay, that means that it threw a connecting rod. So never pry on these right here. I don't know if you saw what I did. I put the pry bar in there very gingerly, very, very lightly. And just very, just, just give it a little, a little nudge, see if I can turn it. Because uh, I didn't want to break off the cooling fins, and I didn't want to break off these right here. Because these guys right here, anything anything bigger than these right here gets in there, it's like a rock. It'll jam it up, and it'll be a big mess. But she puts out power, and that's what matters. So we got ourselves a good generator, guys. For free. Got it at the dump. Guy had it on the back of his trailer. And I said, I'll, I'll take that if you're going to throw it away. He's like, yeah, the motor seized up. I says, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's clearly been inside. It's been in a garage. And it hasn't been used. This, I mean, it, they used it, it. The oil's black. But not from... Not There's nothing in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they took off the line to drain the fuel out of it. So, And the spark plug is loose, too. Should have checked that earlier, but I didn't. So, they probably put some oil or something down. And they tried to unseize it. Didn't unseize. That's why it smoked when it started. But I'm not complaining. I got myself a free generator that runs beautiful. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, by all means, please send them my way. Thanks for watching.